So it's officially come to a close. National Boating Safety Week is over as of this past Friday. But of course, boating safety deserves more than one week a year. I mean, heck, that's one of the reasons this channel exists. And we're going to continue that tradition now as we talk about boating safety every week. Welcome back, guys, to this week's episode of Boneheaded Boaters of the Week. Speaking of traditions, though, we've been neglecting on one lately, and we're going to go ahead and bring it back, and that's the giveaways. That's right, today you're going to have an opportunity to win either one of our infamous Drainplug Mafia tumblers or one of our new Drainplug Mafia boat flags. To win is simple. You've just got to do three things. One, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Two, hit the like button right now. And three, go ahead and leave a comment. And we'll pick our favorite comment at the end of the video. And somebody's going to win one of these items. But let's go ahead and get this episode started. We had a lot of big things go on this week, but this was one of the biggest ones. This occurred over on Lake Murray in South Carolina. As a storm was approaching, several boats tried hiding in one of the local party coves and anchoring off. When all of a sudden, this houseboat pulled in and had a little bit of a time trying to get its anchor set. And instead of coming in and riding out the storm, well, it decided it was going to go ahead and take a few boats for a rod. As can be seen in these images here. Here we can see this boat is trying to reposition itself. They tried to set their anchor, they just could not get it to grab, and wound up having to move around in the cove. But in the process of doing that, they got themselves into a little bit of mischief. As can be seen here, they're trying to push off this vessel to try and get themselves free. But unfortunately, if you look toward the bow of this vessel, you're going to notice their anchor line is right there. And this crew is going to run it over and wind up hooking this vessel. But it's not just this boat. Due to the impending storm that was coming in, this boat had went ahead and tied its stern off to several other boats that were on the beach so the vessel could stay located in one location as the wind and rain came through. But that means that more than just this boat's going for a ride, as we can see here, it's going to drag every boat that it was tied up to as well. And from this point, chaos basically ensues as everybody tries to get their vessels out of the way and others try and get their vessels disconnected from the houseboat that's hooked them. Here we can see one of the other boats that's being pulled off the beach where the stern of the white boat was attached to this vessel as well. But once again, they've got a whole train going. We've got another vessel anchored right here and they're doing everything they can to try and push off. But a houseboat like this is just tough to manage especially when the wind picks up like it has now. So the fact that they couldn't get their anchor set with the wind pushing the boat has really just made it a difficult time for this crew. You can see the gentleman in the bow of the white boat is doing everything he can to try and cut the line so his boat will break free. And as we can see here, he finally gets success, cuts the anchor line, and winds up getting his boat loose. The good news in this whole situation, the story I've been told from people who were on the scene, was that nobody was actually injured. There's quite a few people in the water here, and very easily one of these boats could have been pushed into somebody, and something could have gone drastically wrong. But everybody's able to get their boats cut free. The only real damage in the end winds up being some lost anchors. But just as you think it's over, right here, the houseboat looks like it's clear but they're not done yet. They're gonna come back in and go for one more pass. I mean, this thing is kinda wild. I can't tell here if they're trying to reset their anchor again or if they're just trying to get the stern turned in the direction they want it to face, but for whatever reason, they come back in, make one more wide swinging pass, and here we're gonna see the center console that's the furthest out is the one in danger now, but fortunately, Captain's behind the helm and he's able to get it out of the way. Your boating safety tip on this one, make sure you have the proper anchor for your vessel, especially for the conditions you're gonna face. Boating safety tip number two for this week is always making sure everything is working on your boat before you take off. You never know when you're gonna need that bilge pump. But just in case, always carry a manual bilge pump with you as well, as you'll never know when you need the backup also. Boating safety tip number four for you this week is those sweet no-wake zones. They're there for a reason, hopefully to not cause damage to other vessels. Remember, you are responsible for your wake and the damage it causes. And speaking of speed, that's boating tip number four. Never approach anything. A dock, a trailer, it doesn't matter what you're looking at, never approach anything faster than you're willing to hit it. It almost is inevitable. At some point in time out on the water, you're going to hit something. I don't care who you are, how good of a boater you are, it's gonna happen. As long as you keep that speed in check, things will likely be okay. Now for boating safety tip number five, go ahead and make a checklist of the things you need to do before you launch your vessel. It's easy to get distracted out on the water. There's a lot of things going on. A checklist will 
help you make sure your boat is actually prepped to be launched, and maybe make sure you don't forget something silly like the drain plug. Boating safety tip number six is go ahead and have a towing package. It's cheap insurance, and the last thing you really want to do is try and be towed by somebody who's not a professional and doesn't know what they're doing. Boating safety tip number seven is boating safety begins before you get on the water, so if you're going to tow your vessel, make sure you have the proper equipment to do it and all the proper safety equipment to do so safely. And number eight, always wear a life jacket. It could save your life. And number nine, go ahead and share this video with somebody who you think might need to hear it. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Boneheaded Boaters of the Week. Of course, there are lots of other boating safety tips we could give out there well beyond this. Go ahead and let us know in the comments below your favorite boating safety tip that we didn't mention here. And as we mentioned earlier, you may be one of our winners of our Drain Plug Mafia Tumblr or our boat flag. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you ever see anything crazy happening on your waterways, be sure to hit me up on Facebook or Instagram and let me know, and you might see your stories over here. Just like Patrick O'Keefe, Lucy GP, Corfe 101, Spate the Game, ZJ Life 93, Groves Talker, OH Datsen, Wet Lines Only, Will Langley Jr., and Ted Gatchin did this week. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.